Michael Sager. Uh, if he's watching this morning, if not, I'm going to remind him. Yeah. Well, you know, speaking of photos, everybody's going to want to take their Easter photos tomorrow, oh. right? Like in their cute little Easter outfits, their kids mm. with their Easter eggs. So they're probably wondering about the wind. We've been fighting the wind the past couple of days. It's been windy. Is it about to get windier? Let's just hope the Easter Bunny's stuffing a few extra things <laughs> in those eggs this year. Like so they rocks? don't roll away or <laughs> blow away for the, yeah, maybe not rocks. We want the good stuff. We've been good. We want the good stuff. We have been good. Does that work with the Easter Bunny? Just like Santa, you have to be good for Easter eggs? I, guess, I mean, I mean, it doesn't hurt to be good, right? Yes. It doesn't hurt. So what about the wind, Annie? <laughs> the wind, will it be good? That's the big question. <laughs> Yesterday, it was not that great. So those Easter egg hunts, yes, you were dealing with those winds. Tulsa had a 40 mile per hour wind gust. These are your maximum reports. Nowada, 41 mile per hour wind gust. Look at Welsh getting a 44 mile per hour wind gust. So what's going on with these winds today? They're still out of the south. Yay, that's going to keep temperatures warm. Not nearly as strong as what we had yesterday. Mainly south of I-40 is going to see those winds about 20 to 25 miles per hour. It's not until the evening that Tulsa gets in on some of those winds picking up about 25 to even 30 miles per hour. Nothing like what we had yesterday, but still those winds will be with us if you're getting out and about uh, later on tonight and into early tomorrow morning. I do anticipate those winds to still have some gusts. 25 to 30 miles per hour. All right, trees are an issue. Grass is remaining moderate right now. So if you are sneezing, itchy, water your eyes, you know all those symptoms. You could take trees and again, grass was at low. Now it's in a moderate category. So that is slowly coming up. Thankfully, mold is in the low and weeds are completely absent, except for Julie. You said in your backyard. We're doing oh, the weeds. weeds. Yeah, they're in my backyard. All right. My backyard. I think they're starting to grow in some <laughs> other people's backyards. Too. 61 here for Tulsa as we're taking that live look. Use our Wade's RV weather camera network. Southeasterly winds 10 miles per hour. We had a high yesterday in those upper 70s. Today we're looking to be a little bit warmer than that. Starting off in those 60s, 61 here for Tulsa. Staying warm, staying breezy. Dif there's a difference between windy and breezy. Mm -hmm. Breezy is going to be a little bit lighter, but we're still going to keep some guests about 25 to 30. Once we start reaching that threshold of about 35 to 40 plus, that's when we start to say windy. And then above that, we'll say strong winds. So there is a difference. 70s and then 80s by this afternoon. Very pleasant for this time of the year. We should be in those upper 60s uh, for the area for this time of the year. And we're looking at 80 here for Tulsa. Looking at 76 for Grove, 74 for Ponca City, 77 over to Stillwater. So very nice weather. Uh, given all things for this time of the year and for our Easter weekend. Could have fallen on a better weekend. 744 is that sunset. We'll see some clouds moving in. I do anticipate a little bit more cloud coverage through the overnight. Temperatures remaining very warm. South winds, cloud coverage. Look at this. Mid 60s tomorrow morning. So we'll be starting off sunrise service with temperatures mid and upper 60s. Yeah, that's very nice for this time of the year. Winds will still remain breezy. They're not going to be so much on the windy side uh, for tomorrow, but temperatures still warming to those 80s despite a little bit more cloud coverage in the forecast for your Easter forecast. That's good, looking pretty good. Cloudy conditions continuing into the evening hours and through the overnight. Looking at 81 degrees again for your Easter forecast for Sunday afternoon, 80 over to Stillwater. Here's what we're looking at in the upcoming Monday. We do have showers and storms. That's when we're seeing uh, some changes rolling into the forecast. So we do have some strong to severe storms to get to, and we'll dive more into that hour by hour here a little bit later, Julie. All right, Annie, we know you'll step us